super fun stuff. For all you Gene Stealer Cult fans out there, I got a nice little surprise for you. Because the cult doesn't always get as much love as some of the other 40k armies, and because the cult has such a variety of different subcults, I decided to create some 3D printable cult icons. There are 9 cult icons you can pick. Each 3D model is designed to be printed easily and modified to fit your needs. Want a large icon the bearer uses? Well, download the model, estimate the size you want, and print it. Want a huge icon that we put on a tank? Do the same thing, but make it bigger. If you have a really detailed printer, you can even print really small icons for individual people to use. So let's go through the icons I made. First, we have a standard cult icon. It's kind of the default design that any cult army can use. Next, we have the spinal design. This isn't particularly to any cult, but it takes the basic design and adds a bunch of pointy spines and sharp teeth to it. Beware with this one, if you make it too small, the spines may break off since they're connected with a small surface area. Now we start to get in specific widely known cults. First, the Cult of the Bladed Cog. It's a fairly plain design that features two pieces. The inner piece and outer piece are not connected, so beware when you print this as it won't work by default on a staff. Then we have the next cult that's pretty popular, the Cult of the Four-Armed Emperor. One of my favorite names for a cult. This is also a simple design, but it's a nice basic icon that will work for any size. Next we have the Cult of the Popper Princes. Kind of a weird name, but a cool icon. The design incorporates a lot of lightning bolt designs and gives off a cool devilish electric look. Now we have an interesting one, the Cult of the Hive Cult. Like the bladed cog one, this is a two-piece icon, so be aware of that little circle when you print it. The Cult of the Twisted Helix is the most different of the icons. It's a two-headed twist design that has a nice symmetry balance. Very cool. We have two more to go, and the next one is the Cult of the Rusted Claw. As the Bladed Cog, the Hive Cult, this is a two-piecer. It's really like a modified bladed cog incorporating the gear in the alien head. And lastly, we have the Cult of the Inner Worm. This one is kind of crazy. It has huge spikes and a weird curled arm. This definitely has plenty of character. So what makes this interesting, and why do I care? Well, for one, there's very limited 3D printed stuff for Gene Sailor Cult. I've seen a few icons out there, a few spare parts for Goliath trucks, and even actually a full-on Goliath truck. Um, but they're all pretty basic type of generic alien things. FYI, the full Goliath truck actually is pretty awesome, but don't tell GW. So why not expand the cult and offer some new 3D printing stuff to your armies? Secondly, what's interesting about these icons is that they're in spec to the actual codexes and pictures we've seen. What do I mean exactly? Well, I took their images and converted them to a 3D model. Let me show you how I did it. First, I take the basic image of the icon I liked, for instance, this Twisted Helix one. Using a program called Inkscape, I import an image as it is, then I do a trace bitmap function under the path option. This brings up a window and gives me some different options. I select the brightness cutoff and put it somewhere between 0.7 and 0.8. If you hit the update button on the right, you'll see what it looks like before you convert it. Once I get the areas I want to include, I hit OK. That will generate an SVG file that incorporates points and creates paths. So let's go to our picture. Our SVG was created over top of the original image. You can drag the SVG off the image to see it. You can see here that the quality of the SVG depends on the image. There are a few spots that need some work. Using the Edit Path tool, I can click my SVG and make corrections. I can highlight some nodes, delete them, drag the little angle guys around, and adjust the paths. So I'll go around and fix everything to my liking. Once I'm done, I hit Save and name my SVG. Okay, now the cool part. I open Tinkercad, yep, the same tool I use all the time for a lot of my things, and click Import. Import allows you to import an OBJ, STL, and SVG. When you import an SVG, it will place it on the workspace and give it a thickness. So I can take any SVG I want, import it, and it can save me all the time of actually making that model. Now I can save that as an STL file that can be used for any 3D printer, and it's very simple and easy, and this process just works. So I went through all the icons I saw online, and went through this process, and that's it. Didn't take too long, but allows us cult players to expand our armies a bit and customize them. If you want to do this with other armies as well, so you can, but the cult is the only one that matters to me. Now you know how easy it is to create some cult icons. If you want, you could even take one of these and modify it for your own custom cult. That would be pretty sweet. This originally came to be because I was working on another project. 
I'm going to incorporate some of these icons in the design. So stay tuned to find out more what I'm making. All the cult icons are available for free for download on my 3D modeling store.